Beautiful. Thank you for joining me for a 75 minute yoga class. We're going to start with three rounds of sun salutes to warm up our body. And then we will hop into 26 and two yoga, 26 postures and two breathing exercises. If at any point, uh, something does not feel right for your body, remember that you can modify a posture. You can do something else or you can skip it entirely. Yoga can be challenging at times and that's okay. Uh, but we're never going to a point of pain, a point where we could cause harm to ourselves or others. For the sun salutes, you're going to come towards the top of your mat with your feet close together, arms down by your side. I will stand back a bit and show you in for three. Bring your hands together at heart center and begin. As you inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up as if you're saluting or greeting the sun. Exhale through your nose, bend your knees, fold forward, hands to floor, relax your head. Inhale through your nose, look forward and lengthen into a halfway lift back flat. Exhale through your nose, bend your knees, put your hands on the floor, shoulder with distance, and step back into a plank or tabletop position. You have an option to go from your plank or tabletop directly into a down dog or child's pose, or take a chaturanga, lean forward, hug your elbows into your ribs, and pull yourself down to the floor. Inhale, push up into a back bend. You can do cobra with elbows bent and thighs on the floor, or up dog with arms straight and thighs off the floor. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, straighten the other, pedal out your legs, and then press your heels to the floor, hips to the ceiling, drop your head, look for your thighs behind you. If down dog is not speaking to you, can take a child's pose instead, come down onto your knees, sink your hips down as you reach your arms forward. On your next inhale, hands to the floor, look forward, step forward, and lengthen into a halfway lift. Exhale through your nose, bend your knees, fold, relax your head. Inhale, chin away from your chest, arms with your ears, hands together, root to rise, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down. We'll do two more. Inhale, lift your arms, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, hands to floor, step back into your plank or tabletop. Remember that you can go straight to a down dog or child's pose or lean forward, squeeze your butt, pull your elbows down, hover just above the floor. Inhale, come up into your back bend. Keep your neck long, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, lift your hips up for down dog or sink your hips down for child's pose. Either way, make your arms long, spread your fingers wide. And especially if you're in down dog, try to root down through your knuckles, palms, and the space between your index finger and thumb so that you're not putting all of your body weight on your wrists. On your next inhale, look forward, step forward, lengthen, halfway lift. Slowly exhale as you fold, connect to your breath. Inhale, arms with your ears, hands together, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back, high plank, keep exhaling, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. If you're doing child's pose, try to get your hips back towards your heels. If you're doing down dog, try to get your heels to the floor. If your heels don't naturally touch the floor, you can take a wider stance. If you have tight hamstrings, you can micro bend your knees to take weight away from the backs of the legs. Otherwise, press your thighs back, heels down, hips up, breathe. Inhale, look forward, step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your eyes, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Beautiful, that's our little warm up. We will now hop into 26 and two yoga, starting with two sets of pranayama, standing, deep breathing. Good for your lungs and respiratory system. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Feet together, toes, heels touching nicely. Interlock your 10 fingers, cross your thumbs and glue your knuckles underneath your chin. Rock your weight into your heels. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. You made it to class. Concentrate. Meditate and begin. Inhale, chin down and arms up. Breathe in through your nose. Lift your elbows up. Suck your stomach in. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up. Exhale through your mouth. Slowly push your head back. Reach your arms forward. Keep exhaling. Elbows touch. Inhale, elbows out and arms up. Slowly bring your chin down. Look straight ahead. Lift your elbows all the way up. Breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Slowly push your head back. Look way, way, way back for the wall behind you. Arms forward, touching to the wall in front of you. Inhale, head down. Breathe in through your nose, down through your throat, to the very bottom of your lungs. Exhale, head up. As you exhale, open your mouth wide. 
like you're fogging up the mirror on the ceiling, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. Every new inhale, you want to take in more air than the last breath to expand your lung capacity. Exhale, head up. The more you exhale here, the more fresh oxygen you can take in on your next breath, push the air out. Inhale, head down. So make this the deepest breath so far. Breathing into the top of the lungs, middle of the lungs, bottom of the lungs, full lungs. Exhale, head up. In our day-to-day -day life, we don't really use the full lung capacity, but the lungs need to be worked out like any other part of the body. Inhale, head down. Let's make this the last breath in the first set. Spine a little longer, elbows a little higher, lungs a little fuller. Suck your stomach in, breathe deep, full lungs. Exhale, head up, take your time. Eyes open, hips forward, leg block, stomach in, keep exhaling, push, squeeze, elbows touch. Change, arms down, you can roll out your shoulders and head. We'll continue, second set, feet together. Interlock your fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top. Bring all of your knuckles underneath your chin like glue. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, stomach in, grow taller out of the base of your spine, and begin inhale, chin down and arms up, breathe in through your nose, lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, head up, exhale through your mouth, slowly push your head back, reach your arms forward, keep exhaling, elbows touch. Inhale, head down, keep the weight in your heels, contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your gluteal muscles, lock your legs. Exhale, head up, weight stays in the heels. Think about squeezing the inner and outer thighs together, arms forward, elbows touch. Inhale, head down as you inhale, suck your stomach in, depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles. Exhale, head up, even as you exhale, keep your core tight. Shoulders down, elbows up, triceps parallel to the floor. Inhale, head down. So just the neck and arms move. Lower body stays still like a statue. Look, you look straight ahead. Exhale, head up as you exhale. Just your head drops back. No backward bending. Keep shoulders over hips, hips over heels, weight in the heels. Inhale, head down. So through the breathing exercise, we're coming into a little bit more awareness of our body moving in time and space. Exhale, head up. You're learning to breathe a little slower, a little longer, a little deeper. Push all the air out, elbows touch. Inhale, head down. This breathing exercise generates heat in the body. You're breathing against the back of the throat, elbows up, full lungs. Exhale, head up. We're also warming up the neck and shoulders. Squeeze your palms, wrists, forearms, and elbows together. Inhale, head down, last breath, second set, deepest breath of your life when your lungs are totally full. Surprise yourself, take in one more sip of air. Exhale, head up. Take your time, let everything go through the exhale breath. Any worries, any cares, let them go. Be here now, elbows touch. Change, arms down. We'll continue, Ardha Chandrasana with Padastasana, half moon with hands to feet pose, feet together. Inhale, arms up sideways, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumb, nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bend right and left, right and left. Every time you pass through the middle, reach up a little taller, like you're trying to touch the ceiling. And when you can't stretch anymore, come to stop in the middle. Bring the weight into your heels, push your hips a little forward, squeeze your palms together, head and arms back, touch your biceps to your ears, stomach in. Inhale, breathing, stretch up out of your waist, try to touch the ceiling. Exhale, breathing, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right. Without bending your elbows, without bending your knees, continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes. Just remember it's the first posture of the day and there's no rush, nowhere you need to be, nothing you have to prove to yourself or to anyone else. All you have to do is breathe in and out through the nose. Once you can breathe, focus on form. Keep the weight in your heels, hips a little forward, upper body back, biceps with ears. Push your left hip a little forward to get your two hips in line. Now bring your right shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming. If you have the breath in the form, get, get towards the depth at the end, come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, press your heels down, pull your abdomen in, inhale, stretch up. 
Exhale, slowly bend to the left, press your hips to the right, breathe through your nose. So you're stretching the right side body, toning the left side body, don't collapse. Lift your chin, lift your chest. It's a very proud posture and you have a lot to be proud of for coming to yoga today. Contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your gluteal muscles, lock your legs. Think about squeezing the inner and outer thighs together. Touch your left bicep to your left ear, touch your right bicep to your right ear. Notice if your hands are coming apart, squeeze your palms together, wrist straight. Move your right hip a little forward, left shoulder a little forward. Option to stay here or get deeper at the end. Come down, push, push, push. Change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle. First heart opener of the sequence, take a deep breath, full lungs, keep your eyes open. Relax your head back as far as it goes. You can give your head a gentle shake, look for the floor behind you. Squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears, try to touch the wall behind you. So whole spine back bending from coccyx to the neck, lower back, middle back, Upper back, bend your total spine backward bending, keep the weight in your heels, lock your legs. Inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward. Now bring your arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change. Inhale to come up, big stretch out, decompress. Exhale, stomach in, bend your knees, fold. Go down with a flat back, straight spine, hands to floor. Let your head relax and then go for a walk. Move your hips, shake your head. This is a U-turn from back bending to forward folding. At the beginning of class, your spine might not be quite warmed up yet. Move your hips to get your lower back nice, relaxed, comfortable, easy, flexible. Padastasana, hands to feet pose. Bend your knees halfway. You can grab the backs of your calves, your Achilles, or your heels from underneath. Step on all thin fingers. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes, and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down from the lower spine to the floor, pulling is the object of stretching. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling in the back of your body, all over, inside out, bones to skin, fingers to toes with a smiling happy face. It's kind of poetic. Roll forward, lift your hips up, push your knees back, stretch your spine down. Change, chin away from your chest, arms of your ears, knees can bend as you lift up, arms down, and you stand a little taller. Second set, feet together, standing tall. Inhale, arms up, palms together, switch the grip. Interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs. Imagine you could lean your whole body against a wall behind you, even your lower back. Pull your abdomen in, slide your breastbone up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, slowly drop to the right, press your hips to the left, breathe. From an outside perspective, this might look like a stretching posture, but you know that it's also a strengthening posture, right? The legs, the glutes, the core, the arms, all the muscles are engaging in the body, but your face stays relaxed, shoulders stay soft. You can still breathe through your nose. Use your right hand to pull your left hand to the top right corner of the room. Push your left heel into the floor, push your right heel into the floor. Option to stay here, get a little deeper at the end, come down, push push, push, change, inhale to come up, stop in the middle, heels down, chest up, inhale, stretch up, and slowly bend to the left, press your hips to the right, keep the weight in your heels, hips a little forward, head and arms back, arms with your ears as you look straight ahead, squeeze your palms together, push your right hip a little forward to get your two hips in line, now bring your left shoulder forward, open your chest like a flower petal blooming, option to stay here, get a little deeper, come down, push, and push, and push. Change, inhale to come up, second heart opener. Keep your eyes open, relax your head back, squeeze your butt, lift your chest, and immediately bring your arms back with your ears. So whole spine back bending, whole front of the body stretching, weight in your heels, inhale, breathing, push stomach, thighs, hips, everything forward. Keep your arms and legs active, squeeze your palms together, push your hands back, arms back, look back, fall back, way back, go back, more back, change, big stretch up at the top. Exhale, fold. You wanna go in and out of this posture with a flat back, hands to floor, let your head hang heavy, go for another rock, move your hips, shake your head. Notice what's a little bit more warmed up in the second set. And what's still a little tighter tender, right? Especially in like January when it's cold out, you're just being gentle with your body. Padastasana, hands to feet pose, bend your knees halfway, and grab the backs of your legs or your heels from underneath. Step on all 10 fingers, pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes and lift your hips up. Stretch your upper body down, keep pulling, keep stretching, keep breathing, roll forward, push your big toes down, lift your hips up, push your knees back, try to lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Change, come on up, arms with the ears, so again, coming up with a flat back, knees can bend as you lift up. 
Nice, arms down, and you let that one go. Awkward Ukatasana, step your right foot to the right about six inches, hip width distance, insides of your feet perfectly parallel like 11s. Bring your arms up parallel to the floor. Tricep muscles tight, all five fingers together, thumbs with your index fingers. Reach your arms forward, pull your abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down into a chair. Feet flat position, spine straight to begin with, 100% of your body weight in your heels. Sit down halfway only, hips into a chair. Suck your stomach in and lean your upper body back, depression to abdominal wall, contraction to abdominal muscles, suck it in, fold it in tight, move your hips back a little bit more, shins back a little bit more, stomach in, now lift your chin up, chest up, lean back, fall back, way back, change, come on up, keep your arms there, press your hips forward, spread your toes wide, come up maximum. On your tippy tippy toes, like a ballerina, stretch up at the top, bend your knees, sit down and lean back. Think leaning back, lift your heels a little higher, knees a little higher, sit down into a chair, but don't sit below a chair. Change, last part, come on up, still breathing. Squeeze your knees together, let your heels come a little off the floor and slowly sit down. Take your time, listen to your body, stop whenever you want or sit all the way down. Squeeze your knees together and forward. Thighs parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the thighs, spine perfectly straight from the side, looks like you're holding a box. Change, slowly come up, press the floor away from you. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down, breathing. Second set, step your right foot to the right, same footprint, not too big of a step, insides of your feet parallel. Arms up parallel to the floor, reach your arms forward, pull your abdomen in, bend your knees, sit back and down. So you can stick your butt out and fold forward to get your thighs parallel to the floor, stomach in, lean your upper body back, your arms, your counterbalance, bring the weight back into your heels, lift your chin up, chest up, change, come on up, keep your arms there, press your hips forward, spread your toes wide, lift your heels, concentrate, meditate, levitate, stretch up, sit down. Rather than leaning forward or sticking your butt out, think about tucking your tailbone under so that the lower back is nice and long. Lift your heels a little higher, knees a little higher. Imagine you could press your whole spine against a wall behind you. Change, come on up. Last part, keep the spine nice and long, core engaged. Squeeze your knees, inner thighs together. Let your heels come a scotch off the floor and slowly sit down. So the slower we're able to move in and out of postures, the more balance and strength we get out of it. Squeeze your knees together, lift your chest up, drop your shoulders down and change. Slowly come up, sliding up against gravity. Good, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, Garudasana, we're gonna do the right side first. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, swing right arm under left arm, right elbow under left elbow. Cross first at your elbows, again if you can at your wrists, palms together, thumbs towards your nose, pinkies away from your face. You can also interlock fingers, grab a thumb or grab your shoulders and give yourself a big bear hug. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down, hips into a chair, stay down there, lean back and bring right leg over left leg as high as possible, right over left, cross your legs each other, twist like ropes, beautiful, eventually wrap your right, foot behind your left calf muscle. If your foot is coming out, sit down more. If you're losing your balance, arch your upper body back. Bring your knees to the right, upper body to the left, twist like ropes. Bring the weight back into your heel, sit down, upper body back at the end. Good, change. Feet together, inhale, arms up. We'll do the left side. Exhale, swing left arm under right arm, palms together, thumbs towards your face, pinkies away from your face. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit back and down, hips into a chair, stay down there, lean back and bring your left leg over your right leg, left leg over right leg, cross twist, squeeze and breathe in and out to your nose. Remember, we wanna focus on breath first and then alignment, knees to the left and upper body to the right, elbows over knees. If you have the breath and alignment, then go for depth. Bring the weight back into your heel. You can stick your butt out and fold forward to sit down lower. Upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, inhale, arms up. In the second set, exhale, right arm under left arm. Pull your elbows down, bend your knees, sit down. Stay down there, lean back and bring right leg over left leg, cross and twist. Hips a little to the right. So push your left hip a little forward, right shoulder a little forward. Eventually wrists over elbows, 
elbows over knees, knees over ankle, weight in your heel, sit a little lower, breathe a little slower, upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, arms up, last one, here we go. Swing left arm, under right arm, eventually fingers in line, wrist straight, palms flat, pull your elbows down, eventually fingers below the nose, bend your knees, sit down, lean back, and bring left leg over right leg. If your foot is wrapping, try to eliminate the gap between your left ankle and right calf muscle as you breathe slow and steady in and out through the nose. Knees a little to the left, upper body to the right, twist leg ropes. Sit down lower, upper body back at the end. Good, change feet together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Party time, you can grab a sip of water if you want. My water is behind me. Cheers. Going to adjust this ever so slightly, okay. Beautiful, let's continue. Standing, head to knee, Dande Amana, Johnny Sharasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back. Option to stay here or round down and pick up your right foot, all 10 fingers in your locked webbing to webbing grip. From start to finish, standing legs should be solid, concrete, one piece, plant post, unbroken, you have no knee. If you know your left leg is locked, you got a grip on your foot, inhale breathing, slowly, gently, lift your right leg up. Stretch it forward until your right leg is exactly parallel to the floor. No higher, no lower, standing leg lock. Take a breath. Press your heel forward, flex your toes back. If both legs lock, lock your arms, puff up your chest, and then bend your elbows down. Touch elbows to calf muscles. One day elbows go below the calf muscles. Lock your knee, lift your kneecap, breathe through your nose. Change, slowly reverse out. Shift your weight to your right leg, so big toe points forward. Evenly distribute your body weight on your right foot without grabbing the floor of your toes, without sinking your weight back into your heel. Keep the pad of the foot down. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back. Keep your core tight as you're using your hip flexor here to keep the left leg straight. So right here, you're already working on your balance, your strength, Flexibility as you flex the toes back. You can stay here or start to round down, making it a compression posture, squeezing into the abdominal wall. Eventually pick up your foot. This is the first of three head to knee Johnny Sharasana uh, compression postures where we're really squeezing, compressing the abdominal wall. When you're ready, slowly, gently lift your left leg up. So you wanna keep your stomach in the whole time. Press your heel forward, flex all five toes back towards your face from the ankle. This is a great passive stretch to the calf and Achilles. And if both legs lock, you'll feel tremendous stretching feeling on the backs of both legs, right? Even the hamstring stretching. From here, puff up your chest, lengthen through the spine for a moment, and then bend your elbows in and down. Notice if the elbows are going out or the shoulders are tensing up, you wanna bring the elbows in and roll the shoulders back and down away from your ears. Take your time as you slowly come out, step by step, change. You can put your hands on your back, and do a little back bend, boom, or a knee bend. Huh. Second set, shift your weight to your left leg. Lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, flex your toes back, squeeze your butt, round down, pick up your foot, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun. Inhale, lift your right leg up. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. Elbows go below calf muscles. Slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Notice if you're sinking back into your heel, evenly distribute your body weight on your left foot at your deepest point. Whenever you're ready, bring your head up, arms straight, then the right leg, right foot down. Last one, shift your weight to your right leg. Big toe stays on the floor. Lift your left leg up, flex your toes back, abdomen engaged, round down. Pick up your foot underneath the ball of your foot. So keep the big toe on the floor the whole time. Contract the inner and outer thigh. And when you're ready, lift your left leg up. Heel forward, toes back. If both legs lock, bend elbows down. If elbows go below calf muscles, tuck chin to chest. Put your forehead on your knee. Hold and breathe. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. Lock your knee. When you're ready, slowly reverse out. 
Very nice. So that was a forward curl, right? Compression posture. Next, we do a big back bend, shoulder and chest opener, standing bow pulling pose. Should feel really good. Bring your right hand up, elbow touches the body, palm faces the ceiling. Bring your hand out to the right. Give yourself a high five for practicing yoga today. Yes, reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle bone, thumb with your index finger. Bring your left arm up and back with your ear, knees together. Lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin and chest. Option to stay here or when you're ready, take a breath, stretch up and slowly charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick your right leg back and up. Take your time. At first, just find a place where you can balance, breathe and back bend. As you're ready, start to kick up more and come down more. Kicking and stretching should be equal. Simultaneous, 50-50, the harder you kick, you can balance forever. Bring the body down more, leg up more, big toe to the ceiling, slide your left shoulder forward, kick, kick, kick. Change, slowly kick up, feet together, arms down. Bring your left hand up, out to the left. Reach back without turning or twisting your wrist. Pick up the inside of your left foot at the ankle, thumb with your index finger. Bring your right arm up and all the way back with your ear, left hip forward and down, hips in line. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick into your hand. Simultaneously charge your body forward. So just like the last posture, Evenly distribute your body weight on all four corners of your right foot without grabbing the floor of your toes. Reach your right arm forward, relax your left shoulder back, breathe. And when you're ready, come down. Eventually left foot stacks on top of right foot from the side, two heels in line. Kick back and up, in other words, two shoulders in line. Touch your chin to your shoulder, shoulder blade scapula stretching away from the body, body down, leg up, kick up one more time at the end. Good, change slowly, press yourself up, feet together, arms down. Second set, bring your right hand up, out to the right, reach back, pick up the inside of your right foot at the ankle, left arm up, knees together, lock your left leg, point your right toes, lift your chin, take a breath, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. You're kicking in two directions, you're kicking back and you're kicking up. Kick your heel away from your butt, push your right foot into your right hand, push your left fingers forward, eventually shoulder and chin touch, body down until two heels in line. Body down, leg up, kick, kick, kick. Change, press into your foot as you come up, feet together, arms down. Last one, left hand up, out to the left, reach back, pick up the inside of your left foot, Knees together, right arm up and back. Lift your right kneecap, point your left toes, lift your chin, stretch up, and slowly kick, stretch, breathe. That's all you have to do, kick into your hand, stretch forward, breathe through your nose. So the shoulders slide apart, you keep your chin and chest lifted, tricep tight as you come all the way down parallel to the floor. The more you come down, the more the heart rate increases, and the more you stretch the back of the standing leg. Body down, leg up to the ceiling, kick and kick and kick. Change, kick up with control. Good for you. Come to the back of your mat, toll and dasana balancing stick. We go from one of the longest postures to one of the shortest ones, very much on purpose. Feet together, inhale, arms up, palms together, interlock your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, nice tight grip. Please don't lose the grip. Lean back, stretch up, step your right foot forward, Shift your weight to your right foot, stretch up. And when you're ready, come down like a slow moving seesaw. Arms of your ears, arms, body, head, legs, everything parallel to the floor from the side. Body makes a T like Tom, not a broken umbrella. Stretch, 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 change. Left foot down, right foot back, lean back, stretch up. Step your left foot forward, squeeze your palms together, stretch and tilt. So contract your quadricep muscles, squeeze your gluteal muscles, pull your abdomen in, touch your biceps to your ears, palms together, wrist straight, back flat, stretch. Change, right foot down, left foot back, arms down. So remember that it's called balancing stick. And in this case, our stick is like 
uh, very straight, very firm, right? So you want to come down with a flat back. Second set, arms up, palms together, switch the interlock fingers, release index fingers, cross thumbs, lean back, stretch up, step your right foot forward, stomach in, lock both legs, lock your arms, stretch, and tilt. So triceps tight, biceps engaged, quads and glutes working, core tight, obliques working, body down, leg up, breathe. Change, slowly come up, left foot down, right foot back, last one, step your left foot forward, touch your biceps to your ears, stretch and tilt. Charge your body forward, try to touch the wall in front of you, shoulder blade, scapula, stretching away from the body, bring your chest down, chin forward, lift your leg up, leg up, leg up, change, slowly come out of it, right foot down, left foot back, arms down, enough of that, you can come to the top of your mat and face the long side of your mat for the next three postures, I will face you standing, separate leg stretching, Dande Amana, Vipapapada, Paschimottanasana, inhale, arms up, exhale, step your right foot to the right, nice big step, arms down parallel to the floor, turn your toes in, heels out, lock your legs, lift your chest, swan dive forward, catch your breath. Grab your heels from behind. You can also grab the outsides of your foot or you can start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Everybody roll forward until your hips are over your ankles from the side. Pull on your heels, roll your weight into your toes. Lift your hips up, push your knees back, lock your knees, breathe. Roll forward a little bit more, hips a little higher towards the sky, pull and stretch, touch your head to the floor in between your feet. Change, slowly come up, legs locked, back flat, arms out. Good, step your right foot back to the place, arms up, arms down. If your forehead easily touched the floor in the first set, take a little bit of a smaller step so that your hamstrings and spine can stretch more. If your forehead was nowhere near the floor, play around with a bigger step, a smaller step, maybe turning your toes in more or keeping the insides of your feet parallel. Just have fun, play around. Second set, arms up. Step your right foot to the right and this step. Toes in, heels out, triceps tight, chest up, go down. Try to keep your legs long the whole time. And if your knees are bending a lot, start with your hands on the floor in front of you. Walk your hands forward as much as you need until your legs are straight. Now for my hyperflexible folks, it's not that you're like jamming your knees all the way back or hyperextending the knees. It's just that relatively you want your hips over your knees, over your ankles, with your quadricep muscles nice and engaged. Everybody roll forward, touch your head to the floor. If your head's not yet touching the floor, Take a little bit of a bigger step. Roll forward one more time. Arch your spine. Imagine your heart will touch the floor before your head. Good. Change. Slowly come up. Step your right foot back to the place. Arms up and arms down. Triangle. Trikonasana. Inhale your arms over your head. Big stretch up. Exhale. Step your right foot to the right. Nice generous step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Press your hips forward, lean your upper body back, turn your right foot out, left toes in, two heels in line. Inhale, bend your right knee, lunge, sit down low. You want your knee directly over your ankle, not too far beyond your ankle, right? Sit down, lean back, and move your arms at the same time. You want a nice 45 degree ankle, a diagonal line between your ankle, all the way to the crown of your head, eventually elbow in front of the knee, but you're not collapsing down to get there. Look up towards the ceiling. Touch your chin to your shoulder, breathe through your nose. Reach your left arm up, stretch your right arm down, bend your right knee, sit down more, turn and twist upper body back, beautiful. Lock your left leg, keep your left foot flat on the floor, change. Rotate your arms, straighten your right leg, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line, inhale, bend your left knee and lunge. If your knee is going way beyond your ankle, like if you look down and you can't see your big toe, take a bigger step, sit down, Lean back and move your arms. Eventually, elbow in front of the knee. Hover your fingertips between your big and second toe. Don't touch the floor. Don't push any weight on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your shoulder. Reach your right shoulder up. Touch your shoulder to your chin. Push your right hip forward and down. Push your left knee back with the help of your elbow. Now turn. Twist upper body back like spine twisting posture. Lock your right leg. Keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change. Move your arms. Straighten your leg. Left toes in. Right foot back, arms up, and float your arms down. Take a breath. Second set, here we go, arms up. Step your right foot to the right, nice generous step, be generous with yourself. 
press your hips forward, bring your upper body back, turn your right foot out, left toes in, bend your right knee, lunge, eventually right thigh bicep parallel to the floor, lean back and move your arms at the same time. So eventually right leg will make an upside down L like Linda, but it doesn't have to, right? For here, you're just squeezing the heels together, feet stay in place, but this is the inner thigh strength that we want to engage. At the same time, triceps tight, reach your arms apart, really opening through the chest and shoulders, turn and twist, lock your left leg, left foot flat on the floor, change, move your arms, push the right heel into the floor to come up, right toes in, left toes out, two heels in line, inhale, bend your left knee, sit down, lean back, and move your arms. So again, if the left side bicep is parallel to the floor, then maybe elbow in front of the knee, but you're never collapsing down. Look up, stretch up, keep your core tight and your right big toe pointing forward. Reach your right arm up, stretch your left arm down, sit down more, chest up more, turn and twist, lock your right leg, keep your right foot flat on the floor. Change, move your arms, straighten your leg, left toes in, right foot back, arms up and arms down. So far in the separate leg series, right, we stretched the spine, then we twisted the spine, and now we're gonna round the spine. Standing separate leg, head to knee, Johnny Shirasana, the second of three head to knee poses. Inhale, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, exhale, step your right foot to the right, three to four feet. Shift your weight to your heels, pick up your toes, pivot on your heels to one side of the room. Turn your back toes in, push your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips in line, two heels in line. Backside foot makes a 45 degree angle. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest and go down. So in stretching pose, we stretched the spine and abdomen. In triangle pose, we twisted the spine and abdomen. And in head to knee pose, we're rounding the spine and compressing the abdomen. Touch your forehead and knee together. Front side compression, throat choked, eyes open. Breathing normal. Stretch your fingertips beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your right front foot. Right hip up, left hip forward, two hips in line. Push your forehead into your knee. Lift your kneecaps, lock both legs, hands together. Change, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, disc by disc, head up last. When you're ready, pick up your toes and pivot to the other side of the room. Uncross your heels. Turn your back toes in, push your right hip forward, forward, forward until you feel your inner thighs squeeze together, palms together, stretch up, chin to chest, go down. Round your spine, round, scoop, curl, tuck, concave, chin to chest, stomach in, touch your forehead and knee together. Keep your back, right leg straight, right heel on the floor the whole time, but you are welcome to bend your front leg, you can always take a little bit of a bigger or smaller step. You can turn your back right toes in and forward more. You can really push the floor away from you, from the chest. So forehead and knee come closer together, but you're never forcing your spine to round. This is one to be cautious of. Doesn't mean you can't do it, but it's one to be cautious of. If you have a history of slip discs or your back is just a little achy today. Push your forehead into your knee, lift your kneecaps, lock your legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, right hip forward, Right shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Shift your weight to your heels, pick up your toes, pivot to face forward. Step your right foot back to the place, arms down. Beautiful, second set, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, maybe other thumb on top if you remember. Step your right foot to the right, three to four feet. Pick up your toes, pivot on your heels, turn your back toes in, move your left side body forward, hips and armpits face forward, stretch up. Chin to chest, go down. Can you look at your belly button all the way down? You can't see your front foot all the way down. Chin to chest, stomach in, touch your forehead and knee together. Stretch your fingertips beyond your big and second toe. Bring maximum weight to your front foot, right hip up, left hip forward. Pull the abdomen in to compress and squeeze into the abdominal wall more. In Ayurvedic medicine, there's this idea that when we compress our abdomen like this, we massage the internal organs. So they stay like nice and sharp, squeaky clean. Push your forehead into your knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, slowly uncurl, left hip forward, left shoulder forward, full stop at the top. Pivot on your heels. I'm gonna face you for the last one. Two tricks to balance. When you're in the posture, you want the weight in your front foot. And the other trick to balance is to have your heels in line, but not crisscross, right? That'll make it hard to balance. Turn your back toes in, push your right hip forward, 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 stretch up, chin to chest, 
go down. So at the top, often the weight is in our back foot, but as we round down, you want to shift the weight into your front left foot. Back heel stays on the floor, but more weight in the front foot helps with balance. Stretch your fingertips forward, pull your abdomen in, touch your forehead and knee together, relax your jaw, look towards your belly button, breathe through your nose. Finding a little bit of stillness and breath in every asana, every posture. Push forehead into knee, lock both legs, hands together, change, press the hips forward, keep the biceps of the ears, palms together, head up, last, beautiful. Pivot on your heels, right foot back, arms down. Come to the middle of your mat for the hip opening series, returning to balancing on one leg, tree pose, Tadasana. Shift your weight to your left leg, lock your left leg, and lift your right leg up. Heel the costume, let your right knee drop down and back into a half lotus shape can bring one or both hands together. Your posture also might look like this, like this, maybe the ankles on the knee or the thigh, right? Eventually heel to costume, doesn't have to be today or tomorrow, we're not forcing our body. Good, change, right leg down, shift your weight to your right leg, lock your right leg, and lift your left leg up, heel to costume, let your left knee drop. You can bring one or both hands together. So sometimes, you know, when I see someone doing a really cool posture and I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. What I'll think about is like, what is the purpose of the posture, right? And how can I get that same outcome, even if my posture doesn't look the same? So in this one, right, we're opening through the hip, the knee, we're working on balance, we're working on lengthening the spine, you can bring one or both hands together, but you can get all of those effects, right, with the foot lower, or with holding onto the hand or whatever, or holding onto a wall nearby for balance, right? So there's lots of little modifications and options and just different, you know, degrees of every posture to explore. Change, left leg down, toe stand, Padangustasana, look towards the floor, four feet in front of you, lock your left leg, lift your right leg up, heel to costume, let your right knee drop, you can bring one or both hands together, option to stay here or fold forward, hands to floor first, option to stay here or walk your hands forward, lean forward, lift your left heel, bend your left knee, sit down on your heel, walk your hands back to either sides of your hips, stretch the crown of your head up to the ceiling, bring your left hand up to the center of your chest, right hand, elbows down, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. When you're ready, place your hands on the floor, lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg, and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Very nice. Change, shift your weight to your right leg, squeeze your right thigh tight, lift your left leg up. For this posture, you do want your foot above your leg. If your foot has a tendency to fall, you can hold on to your foot on the way down, and as you're ready, fold. Breathe, hands to floor, lean forward, bend your knees, sit down, concentrate and meditate. Walk your hands back, stretch your spine up. Left hand, right hand together, spine straight, come a half inch off your heel. When you're ready, hands to floor, you can come up on two feet or lift your hips up to straighten your standing leg and then press your hips forward to reverse out. Good stuff, change, left leg down. Honor yourself, give yourself high five, fist bump, turn around, savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat, and adjust our camera angle. We are on the floor for the rest of class. Yes. <laughs> Bring your heels together, let your toes fall open, arms down, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, mouth closed, breathing normal. Savasana is a gas station, let it fill you up. When your arms and legs are close together like this, your heart and lungs don't have to work very hard to pump fresh blood and oxygen through the body. This is a truly restorative posture. Our bodies work so hard for us and sometimes we, um, you know, are still kind of mean to our bodies or we try to like push them harder than they want to go, especially this time of year, right? We're animals and animals tend to slow down in the winter when it's dark out. So this is, I love yoga because it's an opportunity to move your body, right? And it's also an opportunity um, to be still in your body and an opportunity to be compassionate towards yourself, right? So, you know, pushing yourself in times where it feels good to push yourself and easing off in times where, you know, it feels good to ease off, taking breaks as you need to. And especially in Savasana, um, there's just, gosh, real value and in intentional stillness and breath. 
in and out through the nose. Floor series begins with Pavana Mutasana when removing pose. Bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, grab your right shin, nice tight white knuckle grip. Pull your knee out to the right, down towards your shoulder, completely avoid your rib cage. Keep your head on the floor without lifting your head, look down the center line of your body, pull and breathe. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. This is an intermediary posture. It is part of the hip opening series, just like those balancing poses, tree pose and toe stand that we did before the Savasana. And it's also the first posture in the floor series, right? So you're kind of going from standing to lying down while still working on hips. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows each other. Um, it's also really good for digestion. Squeeze your knees together and down, keep your head on the floor. Without lifting your head, look down the center line of your body, squeeze and breathe. You're purposely putting pressure on your lower abdomen to remove or release gas bubbles from the stomach before the uh, next poses on the stomach. Change, arms down and eyes open. Second set, bend your right leg up, interlock your 10 fingers, switch the grip, other thumb, pinky finger on top, pull your knee out and down. So you're opening your hip capsule, you're strengthening your grip and you're putting pressure on the lower abdomen. It's called wind removing pose for a reason. Change, right leg down, left leg up, pull your knee out and down. Um, and this is also an opportunity, this might sound weird, it's an opportunity to stretch your eyeballs as well. So without lifting your head, see how far down the center line of your body can go. Change, left leg down, both legs lift up, grab your elbows each other. In a, in a good yoga class, and especially a traditional yoga class, even eyeballs, like the ocular nerve gets a workout. So that's why, you know, from the very first pranayama breathing, you'll hear like, look way, way, way back without back bending, right? Stuff like that. Even the eyeballs get a workout. Look down, squeeze tight, change, arms down and eyes open. So every part of the body gets, um, you know, challenged a little bit in this class and every part of the body gets a little bit of attention, right? Which can be compassionate as well. Next, we do a straight leg sit up. If you have any concerns about your body or about your back, I should say, skip the sit up, roll off to, I was just thinking in my head, how many times can you say body poly? Uh, skip the sit up, roll off to the side if you have any concerns about your back today. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. All this before, forehead please, okay. Turn, lie on your stomach for the spine strengthening series, beginning with Cobra Bhujangasana, good for your lower lumbar spine. Place your hands flat on the floor, just below your shoulders, so your elbows point up to the ceiling like grasshopper wings. From a bird's eye view, I could not see your new manicure, unless you have really long nails. Zip up your legs, toes, heels touch, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, look up and lift, stretch your upper body off the floor, use 100% spine strength. Come up halfway only, try to get the ribs up, but keep the belly button down. Roll your shoulders back and down, hug your arms into your sides. Think about stretching your elbows down towards your hips, fingers point forward, toes point back. Don't forget about your cobra's tail. Keep your feet together, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, push your feet, hips and hands flat into the floor. Now look up, chin up, chest up, stretch up, breathe up and change slowly with control lower down. Look to your right, left ear on your mat, arms down, palms face the ceiling, toes together, heels fall open. Second set, chin forward, place your hands flat on the floor below your shoulders, elbows point up, zip up your legs, evenly distribute your body weight on your hands, palms, lock your legs, look up and lift. So the hands are active here. Um, you're not relying on your arms to lift up, right? The elbows stay bent, but you're also not hovering them off the floor. It's a sweet like middle spot. You are pushing your hands down, right? Engaging the arm muscles a little bit to keep the chin and chest lifted. Keep your neck long, toes, heels touch, lock your legs. Press your feet, hips, and hands flat into the floor. Lift your chest up. Change, slowly lower down. Look to your left, right here on your mat. Arms down, heels open, breathe. Locust, Shalabhasana, chin forward, arm straight position. Rotate your arms, palms face the floor. Bring your arms underneath you. One day pinky fingers touch. One day arms underneath the body, um, but your hands never overlap. Lock your right leg, 
Point your right toes and lift your right leg up to a 45 degree angle, half of 90. See the foot come directly over the top of your head. Roll forward, leg up, change, right leg down. Relax right leg, lock your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Root down through your knuckles, squeeze your triceps tight. Press your shoulders down, lengthen and lift. Change, left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin and knot down. So one leg is practiced for two legs. This is Loka Shalabhasana. With your chin in a little bit, neck long and mouth on your mat, zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch. Walk your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, roll forward and lift both legs up. Come up, everybody come up. Nice, struggle a little harder. Don't give up, mouth down, shoulders down, press your hands back, roll forward, legs up. Change, lower down with control. Take your arms out to the side, look to the right and take a nice slow breath in through the nose and out through the nose. When you release the arms from underneath the body with an elevated heart rate, you get a nice rush of oxygenated blood through the shoulders, elbows, wrists, all the way into the fingertips. Second set, chin forward, arms straight, rotate your arms, palms face the floor. Again, you can keep your arms out to the side or bring them underneath you so you're really stretching out the arms and hands. Lock your right leg, point your right toes, lift your right leg up. Um, this posture is great if you like use a mouse and type all day, if you um, are into like knitting or guitar playing or you do your hair every day, right? These postures work through knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulder tightness. Change right leg down, relax right leg, walk your left leg, point your left toes and lift your left leg up. Keep your triceps tight, squeeze your left butt cheek, lock your left leg, lift your thigh up, change, left leg down. Third part, tuck your chin and mouth down, bring your arms a little closer, keep breathing, zip up your legs, lock your legs, point your toes, roll forward, lift both legs up. In the second set, if you want, you can open your feet for a second without bending the knees, see if you can lift up higher, and then bring these feet back together, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, lift your thighs up, change, lower down, take your arms out, look to the left and let that one go. Looking left and right um, on your abdomen is a great way to work out the neck and shoulder can also be a little intense. So if looking left and right does not feel, feel good to your neck or shoulder, you can bend one or both arms so that your hands are close to your face and that will take pressure off of the upper spine. So far in Cobra Pose, we lifted the chest. In Locust, we lifted the legs. Now in full locust, we're gonna lift chest and legs at once. Bring your, look forward, chin forward, bring your arms out to the side like airplane wings, perpendicular to the body. Zip up your legs like a cobra's tail, toes and heels touch. Lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, look up and lift arms, body, head, legs, everything. Lifts off the floor, beautiful, like a jumbo jet taking off, just your hip bones on the floor, the rest of your body's in the air. So lifting the chest and the legs at once is really good for strengthening all of the muscles that surround the spine. You're also opening through your chest and shoulders with the arms out perpendicular to the body. So not too close behind you or too far forward. I feel like as adults, we don't say perpendicular a lot, but it comes in handy in yoga. Fun word, knees feet together, lock your legs, squeeze your butt, point your toes, lift your thighs up, chin up, chest up, look up, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, slowly lower down, tuck in your wings, look to your right, left ear on your mat. And as we look left and right, you know, as the neck and shoulders start to open up, eventually whole left ear on your mat, eventually chin close to shoulder, but not shoulder to chin. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. Second set, chin forward, arms out perpendicular to the body, knees, feet together, lock your legs, squeeze your buns, point your toes, look up and lift. In the second set, see if you can lift your arms a little higher than the top of your head. Can you get one more rib off the floor? Can you get your thighs off the floor? Reach your arms apart, squeeze inner thighs together, lock your legs, point your toes, thighs up, chin up, chest up, arms up, arms back, come up a little higher at the end. Good, change, lower down, tuck in your wings. Look to your left, maybe whole right ear on your mat, never forcing, just exploring. Bring your chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, 
thumbs with your index fingers, knees, feet close together, squeeze your buns, point your toes, look up to the ceiling and start to kick into your hands. Good, continuously keep kicking, beautiful. Without stopping, without intermission, it's the kick that drives the posture. Roll forward once, freeze between your ribs and hips, hold still, do little sips of air in and out through your nose. Try to keep your ankles, knees and hips relatively in line. Lift your chest, keep your neck long, try to get your thighs off the floor, kick, kick kick, change, good, lower down with control, look to your right, eyes open, mouth closed, still breathing. Second set, chin forward, bend your legs, grab your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes, knees, feet close together, point your toes, squeeze your tush, look up towards the ceiling, and kick into your hands. You're kicking in two directions. You're kicking back and you're kicking up. In the second set, notice if your wrists are bending, try to bring the insides of your wrists closer together. Just straighten out your wrists, keep your arms long, neck long, point your toes, squeeze your butt, kick and kick and kick. Change, slowly lower down to your left and let that one go. Send deep belly breaths in and out through your nose to massage the front of your body. Breathe deep into any point of tension. Let the floor hold you up. Bring your chin forward, put your hands on the floor, push up. Come to the top of your mat for fixed firm, Supta Madrasana. I'll show you the first set from the side. Open your knees and feet, point your toes back. Insides of your feet parallel, feet a little wider than your butt. Start to walk your hands back and sink your hips down. You can keep your hands in front of you, beside you, or behind you the whole time. If you can sit down between your heels and you're not in any pain, uh, bend your right elbow down, stopping anywhere you feel a point of pain, left elbow down, knees never come off the floor, drop your head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, grab your elbows, each other, and hold. Wherever you are is perfect. You want a gentle stretch through your toes ankles, knees, quads, and hips, but never a point of pain. This winter, I found that my left knee is a little bit achy in the first set, but often in the second set, I can get a little bit deeper. So keep that in mind too. So we do two sets for a reason, and the sequence is repetitive for a reason, right? So over time, you can track not just your progress, but how things like seasonal you know, changes might affect your yoga asanas. Change, put your hands on your feet, press yourself up carefully with control, head up last, very nice, turn around, savasana. So the yoga is a tool um, to like observe the body and the mind and the breath. And the yoga is a tool to um, change the body and the mind and the breath, right? It's both at once, we're both observing and, and working. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. And it's a tool to accept the body, the mind and the breath, right? Even if it's a little bit different than we'd like it to be. Knees, feet together, hips on your heels, open your feet, sit down between your heels. Option to stay here or put your palms on your soles. Right elbow down, left elbow down, head back, head to floor, tuck your chin in, neck, shoulders on the floor, arms over your head, maybe other elbow on top. Look down the center line of your body. If this is all gravy, walk your shoulders in towards your hips to lift your chest higher like a natural human bridge. And if that's all gravy, slide your knees back together, but knees never come off the floor. Change, put your hands on your feet, press yourself up, head up last, very nice, turn around, savasana. As you release out of that posture, right, you get a nice rush of blood to the lower body as you breathe through your nose. You're always welcome to skip sit-ups by rolling off to the side. Otherwise, legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Arms to the ears, elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Good, turn, um, come to the middle of your mat, back, back area of your mat for half tortoise, harder for monster. Sit knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs. You're always welcome to start standing on your knees if sitting back onto your heels does not feel good or is not accessible. Stretch up, chin away from your chest, go down. You're welcome to put one or both hands on the floor to walk you in and out of this posture or forehead to floor, little fingers to floor, press your palms together, tilt your pinky fingers down, reach your arms forward, sink your hips down, stretch stretch, stretch.
change. Come on up, arms with ears back flat. Nice, arms down, turn around, Savasana. So with every Savasana, right, you want your heels close together, arms down by your sides, toes fall apart, palms face the ceiling, eyes open, breathing through the nose. The little reset button and an opportunity to practice some stillness and breath. Legs together, arms over your head. Flex your feet, squeeze your seat, sit up. Try to keep your heels on the floor as you sit up. Okie doke. Try and come to the back of your mat. Second set, half tortoise, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs, stretch up and go down. Look forward as you fold. Can you touch your forehead to the floor first and then your little fingers? Slide your pinky fingers forward, sink your hips down, stretching out through the lower back, middle back, shoulders, upper back, neck spine, re-energize, reorganize, revitalize, stretch. Change, come on up, stomach in. Very nice, arms down, oh, turn around, Savasana. Breathe. Legs together, arms up. Tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Heels on the floor, arms to the ears. Great, turn, come to the top of your mat. Camel Ustrasana, our deepest back bend. Stand on your knees, six inches between your knees and your feet. Place your hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers down to the floor. Press your hips forward, keep your eyes open, lift your nose and chin, and if it feels good, let your head hang back. Option to stay here or go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Option to stay here or right hand down, grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. If you can't grab your heels, keep your hands on your lower back for support. Push stomach, thighs, hips forward, lift your chest up, relax your head back. So you're opening the front of the body, healing the spine through compression, but you don't want to collapse into the lower lumbar spine, right? The chest stays lifted, so the middle and upper back are bending as well. Change, put your hands on your back, press yourself up without twisting your spine, head up last, stretch up, sit down, turn around, Savasana, head to the front of your mat, feet to the back of your mat. This posture can release some, in, some tension from the front of our body, and that can come out in a, in a variety of ways, like with an increased heart rate or a sense of nausea or dizziness or um, an emotion might pop up or a sensation somewhere else in your body might pop up. So if this posture makes you feel some kind of way, there's nothing wrong with you. If nobody's told you this yet today, in general, there's nothing wrong with you, right? We are all just humans experiencing what it means to be human. And yoga is like a beautiful supplement to that experience, right? And help us, helps us like get in touch with things and feel things a little bit more. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your, or top of your mat, second set, camel. And if you'd like, you can always roll up your mats. There's a little bit of extra padding under your knees or ankles or other delicate joint. That's true for all of the kneeling postures. So eight to 10 inches between your knees, six inches between your feet, put your hands on your lower back. Maybe think about bringing elbows closer together behind you, really opening through the heart space. Press your hips forward, lift your chest up. And when you're ready, relax your head back. Go back halfway, freeze in the middle. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Right hand down, grab your right heel. Push stomach, thighs, hips forward. Lift chest up, drop head back. Be still and breathe. When you're ready, place your hands on your back first for support. Press yourself up. Stretch up, sit down, turn around, Savasana, breathe. And just let that posture go, right? Let's keep going. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat, knees, feet together, hips on your heels. Grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, full palm grip on your heels. 
big stretch up, chin to chest, go down, rabbit pose, sasangasana. We are rounding our spine like an adorable bunny, forehead to knees, top of head to floor, option to stay here, but reach back, really pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, and lift your hips up. If there's a gap between your knees and head, you can walk your knees up one by one, but head stays in place. Squeeze your heels together, press your hips forward, lift your shoulders up, lock your arms, round your spine. That feels good. When you're ready, hips down, slowly uncurl, vertebra by vertebra, just by this, cut up last. Good stuff, turn around, Savasana. It's a little bit ironic that, you know, rabbit pose and rabbits and hares, right, are notoriously, or at least in folk tales, right, hares go fast, like tortoise and the hare, but um, <laughs> this rabbit is slow, right, so you want to go in and out of the posture slowly with control. Legs together, arms over your head, tuck your chin to your chest, sit up. Okay, turn, come to the middle of your mat, second set, grab it, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, grab your heels from the outside, thumbs outside, fingers inside, stretch up tall, tuck your chin to your chest, and intentionally slow go into it. So you want to go intentionally slow in and out of this posture, helps protect the spine, it also just helps you to feel what parts of your back might be a little extra tight, and you want to work there in the second set. Forehead to knees, top of head to floor, pull on your heels, don't lose the grip, and lift your hips up. Think about rounding your middle spine up higher. Lift your shoulders up to decompress your neck spine. Squeeze your heels together. Keep, keep the tops of your feet, ankles, shins, and knees firmly on the floor. Roll forward, hips up. Bring your hips back down. Change, slowly and curl. Head up last. Very nice, turn around, Savasana. I've always thought it was um, cute that in the style of yoga, you know, we have half tortoise pose and then we have rabbit pose. So in the style of yoga, the tortoise literally comes before the hair. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Right, I think with a consistent yoga practice, slow and steady wins the race. Right leg out, left leg in, two legs make an L, a 90 degree angle. Inhale your arms over your head, big stretch up. Exhale, turn to your right, tuck your chin to your chest, put your forehead on your knee. Interlock your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot. Flex your toes back, bend your elbows down, suck your stomach in. Left elbow down, left shoulder down, two shoulders and hips in line. Change, arms up, left leg out, right leg in, two legs make an L, a 90 degree angle, no wider. Stretch up, turn to your left, chin to chest, touch your forehead to your knee. Uh, if your forehead and knee do not touch with a straight leg, that is really normal. Bend your left leg as much as you want, keep your left toes flexed back, interlace your 10 fingers up to the webbing under the ball of your foot, touch your forehead and knee together. This is our third and final Johnny Sharasana head to knee compression posture. We're squeezing, compressing the abdominal wall, massaging the internal organs. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. If you're skipping, sit up, stay here. Otherwise, lay down and sit up. Paschimottanasana stretching. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with peace sign fingers, thumbs on top, scoot your butt back, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times. Knees can stay bent if it helps you keep a flat back. You're gonna fold forward as if you could hook your ribs over your knees. If your legs are straight, stick your butt out even more, lock your legs. Spiral inner thighs down, flex little toes back so the soles of your feet face forward. Lock your arms, puff up your chest, and then start to bend your elbows. Everybody fold forward. Stomach to thighs, pull. Chest to knees, stretch. One day, toes and head touch. Change, come on up, turn around, savasana. Even at the end of class, try to get an intentional savasana, just being still with your limbs close together, breathe through your nose. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good, come to the middle of your mat, second set, right leg out, left leg in. Um, you want the sole of your foot touching your inner right thigh. Make sure that your leg is not on top of your foot. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, turn to your right, chin to chest, touch your forehead and knee together. So squeezing, compressing the abdominal wall, rounding, stretching the spine. Flex your toes back to stretch through the Achilles, the calf, maybe even the hamstring. Bend your elbows down, sliding shoulder blades, scapula apart. Notice if your left knee, your left hip are coming off the floor, roll into the left, two shoulders, hips in line. 
change. Arms up, left leg out, right leg in, big stretch up, turn to your left, chin to chest, forehead to knee. If it's easy to touch your forehead and knee with a bent leg, start to slide your heel forward. See how long you can make your leg before the forehead and knee lose contact. Just lose contact. Just make sure that you're not forcing your body in any way. If your leg is straight, see if you can lock your leg. Eventually heel off the floor, elbows to floor, right elbow down, right shoulder down, rolling to the right. Change, arms up, both legs out in front of you. Lie down, sit up. Try to get elbows to floor, forehead to knees. Second set, stretching pose. Bend your knees, hook onto your big toes with middle and index fingers, thumbs on top. Scoot your buns back, right, left, right, left. Again, knees can stay bent, it helps you keep a flat back. Eventually legs long, eventually heels off the floor, puff up your chest and fold. Rather than rounding and tugging at the spine, think about lengthening stomach to thighs, chest and knees, one day forehead and toes touch. Nice, change, come on up, turn around, Savasana. We always end this sequence with one set of a spine twist meant to reset your back after all of your hard work, almost like a little chiropractic adjustment. Should feel good. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Ardha Matsandrasana, final spinal. This is half Lord of the Fish pose. Take a moment, identify left from right. Bend your left leg on the floor, touch your right heel to your left knee corner, right arm close behind you, like a kickstand, second spine, left arm up and over your right knee, push your right knee out of the way. Grab your left knee with your left hand. Look down, if you are sitting on your left foot, slide it to the right, roll to the right, evenly distribute your body weight on both sit bones. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over right shoulder twist. You can keep your right hand behind you for support. You can also grab your hip, your waistband, or one day your left thigh with your right hand. Keep spine straight, chest lifted. Drop your shoulders, pull your abdomen in. On the breath in, stretch up. On the breath out, look back, twist, twist, twist. Change, unwind, swap out your legs, bend your right leg on the floor, touch your left heel to right knee. You can also have your right leg long in front of you. Left arm close behind you, right arm up and over, grab your right knee with your right hand. You can also grab your mat or a towel for support. Inhale, stretch up, stomach in. Exhale, look over left shoulder twist. You can keep your left hand behind you, especially if you're leaning back a lot, walk your hand in, tent your fingers, push down through the tips of the fingers. If you can balance your right, you can grab your hip your waistband or eventually right thigh with left hand for a bind. Keep your right knee down, left foot down, point your right toes, inhale, stretch up, exhale, look back, twist and twist and twist. Change, unwind, turn around, Savasana, breathe. Legs together, arms over your head, chin to chest, sit up. Good. Okay, turn, come to the middle of your mat, knees, feet together, hips on your heels, hands on your thighs. Um, if it hurts to sit on your feet, don't do it. Sit on your butt, crisscross applesauce. But every once in a while, try to sit on your feet because it is easier for the diaphragm to move in koppel bhati, bhati breathing, final breathing. You're going to exhale through your mouth. As you exhale through your mouth, you'll pull your abdomen in. So when all of that happens at once, when the stomach relaxes, the lungs automatically take in air. The exhale is um, forceful, audible, intentional. The inhale is very subtle, passive. You barely notice it's happening. And the less you think about it, the easier it is, which is like, what a relief, right? What a nice thing to have in life. Like here, let's swallow a couple of times, sit up tall, concentrate, meditate. Don't forget to have fun and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Lick your lips, swallow a couple times, lock your arms, drop your shoulders, and begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Good for you. Honor yourself, give yourself a hug. High five, pat on the back, turn around, final savasana. You can close your eyes, open your arms and legs, take up as much or as little space as you want, and take a nice soothing breath in through the nose and out through the nose. 
Breathe in. Breathe out. And all is coming. 